Well, hello there again. This is part two of yesterday. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it up on the same day or not. I, I apologize. I'm, I've got squirrely brain right now. So, uh, Carol said, while you're up there, can you please go to Costco and definitely get me some blueberries? And last night at like 3 o'clock in the morning, our CO detector was going off, which kind of scares the hell out of you until you realize it's going off because it's old and uh, it needs to be replaced. So I've got my CO detector, which we put in the kitchen because that's where all the gas stuff is. And uh, let's just move over a bit because there's oncoming traffic. I'm trying to get on the highway. I'm trying to be nice, you know what I'm saying? This camera is like freaking crooked all the time. What the hell? Um, so uh, let's go to Costco. We'll get those things for Carol. I think she wants bananas. This is a funny uh, list, eh? Blueberries, bananas, and a CO detector. So let's go grab those and then I will go over the thingies with you. carbon monoxide lots to choose from hmm after uh, examination this is just smoke this is smoke and carbon monoxide this is monoxide multi-pack and this is wired so I don't want to wire stuff in so uh, it's up to this one and this one but I think I'm gonna go with this one but it's $94 and this one is $64 but it does natural gas propane backup battery plug in voice hmm. so after phoning Carol obviously we don't, we don't want this one it's wired it's funny they all last only 10 years but this one's wired so I don't know why you do I guess if you have wires already in your ceiling then sure get that but uh, you still have to replace this whole thing in 10 years, so we don't want this one. This one's pretty good if you want to put it in the kitchen and not have smoke and stuff setting it off because it's just carbon monoxide. But we decided to do this. We'll put one in the kitchen, one in the living room, and then we'll get this one also, and this is smoke. We'll put one upstairs in the attic and one by the bathroom area. Cool. Produce. Blueberries. I didn't get a cart. Can't wait to start eating avocados again. Oh, there's bananas. I have a question. Did you find an apple watch? Uh, Sorry. No. <laughs> I did. I did, and it, I think I lost it in the bananas. Oh, okay. oh boy! If I find one, I don't even Hopefully know how to stop it. it. I don't even know how to lock it. Oh. I just lost you know? Oh no. Yeah. Why did it fall off so easy? I don't know. I don't know. I was gonna clean this up so I can double check. Um. Uh, do you know how to? Can you or can you track it at all? Yeah, I went. Watch, watch it. Um. Good luck with that. Yeah. I hope you find it. Maybe I should have got a cart. Mm. So here in Canada, the Kirkland Signature sliced bacon four pack is uh, $18.99, and that's what we usually buy. Please scan your membership card or touch need assistance. Please begin scanning. 
Place your ten. Ninety nine. One. Sixty nine. Not bad. Ninety four. Ninety nine. Forty nine. Ninety nine. Credit. Ten. Dollars. Follow the instructions on the pin pad. No. <laughs> The pizza's good though, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> Thank you. No, bad. <laughs> oh boy. And I didn't drop anything. But of course I have nowhere to put anything at the moment. Bananas. I wasn't p thinking about picking these up, so didn't have, didn't bring a bag in with me. And I think I do have a bag in here. So that all came to, uh, where's the final price? One hundred and seventy-six dollars. The blueberries were more money than I thought they were. I think they used to be like eight bucks or seven bucks. Another ten ninety nine. I could be totally wrong. The bananas were really cheap, a buck sixty nine. That's pretty cool. I turned it on. Good. Nope, didn't turn on. There we go. Get that heat back into this baby, right? Okay, it's just that. Got to do this for you guys. So, uh, uh, shape. So C I D shape your body composition snapshot. So it's a body composition test. So I am a C. You wanna be moved to an I, but you wanna be a D. A D is the best, and I'll explain. Let's go into here. I, I don't think I can show you. Let me just see if there's any sensitive information on there, and there is. So um, I will do maybe some screenshots of it or take pictures of it at home and then I'll post them up here somewhere maybe. So the intracellular water is 65.3, the extracellular water is 40.3. Uh, my dry lean mass is uh, 37.7, my body fat mass is 62.6. So my lean body mass is 143 pounds. My total weight when I stood on her scale was uh, 205.9, so her probably her scale is probably a little more accurate than mine. Um, so my muscle fat analyst is weight, and then skeletal skeletal muscle mass, and then body fat mass, and uh, it has that C curve, which is where you don't want to be. So I've got good skeletal muscle mass. That's where it needs to be. I need to bring my weight down my body fat mass down and then I'll have the eye and if I can bring my skeletal uh, muscle mass up and then I'll have the D so that's where I need to be so uh, the computer or whatever I stood on saying basically I need to lose another 37.3 pounds um, somebody left a comment saying I don't look healthy and when you look at somebody for a very long time and they're always overweight and then they lose a lot of weight they do, look, they do look skinny, right? Because you're used to seeing them at this size. And it go, pretty much goes for anybody. There's other YouTubers that I've watched uh, in the past that, um, uh, like even Penn and Teller. Uh, Penn was a very big guy for a very long time and they lost a ton of weight and he looked kind of sickly. But once you watch them for a while, uh, then you get used to the way they look and they look way better. And then when you see them overweight, you're like, wow, yeah, look how much weight they gained. Then they look sickly. So uh, I, I'm pretty sure you guys agree with that. Um, I'm hoping you guys agree with that. That would be great. So, and then she has all these body composition histories. So the next time I come, we'll see how well I did at the end of the month. Uh, again, we'll probably be going, dipping into uh, February. But right now, I'm going to get home, give this stuff to Carol. I hope you enjoyed uh, me reading that. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of my daily, uh, not daily, but my little bit of a shopping spree there and decision making on the smoke detector 
carbon monoxide test uh, detectors and uh, yeah we're gonna go home shoot a video at home today and then probably tomorrow I'll zip out and do a another restaurant I've got a few really good ideas from you guys because in the video in the Wendy's video I asked if you guys work at restaurants or if you do the same thing where you ask for food without buns without condiments and things like that uh, and I got a couple really awesome suggestions and I'm gonna do one of them uh, for that person I'm not gonna tell you what it is it's gonna be a surprise all right thanks for watching guys hope this video helped you understand a little bit of the whole in body and I always forget a body composition uh, chart so I did my body composition chart um, I hope that gets enlightened you guys a little bit and uh, prepare for me to be even skinnier than this I know some people are like dude you're not you're not fat I am I got this belly going on I'd love to get rid of that um, I, the last time I had a, a six-pack was when I was uh, I think around the time I was married I remember my Carol took a picture of me cutting the grass in probably 19 no uh, was it 1998 and uh, I, I was cutting the grass with just my shorts and, and shoes and uh, I had good body mass and six fat so I was pretty proud of that and anyway so look forward to that guys and I'd like to thank every single one of you guys for watching my videos hanging out with me giving me support your love and support means a hell of a lot uh, and I hope you guys understand uh, how much your support on this channel and the other channel and your comments all your very supportive comments wishing me well uh, you guys mean the world to me and I and I, and I mean that so have a great day uh, today is Tuesday so uh, yeah have a great week I wish you all the best and we'll see you again in the next video talk to you guys later bye